Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So problem is add digits. Um, very easy problem, and in which in this problem we'll be learning a new concept. So let's see. Uh, we are given an integer, and we have to repeatedly add all its digits until the result has only one digit. and then we need to return it so if number 38 is given see if 38 is given we will add the digits of 38 like 3 plus 8 we will add it we will get 11 and since 11 is also two digit we will add both the digits of 11 so 1 plus 1 we get 2 so 2 is a single digit it is only one digit so we will return 2 so this we need to do in this problem so see let's approach it basic approach which you know instantly comes in mind is that we have to find sum of digits na so we will find of sum of digits and we will continue to do that until we get single digit that is see how what we can do is we have 38 right we have 38 so how to calculate sum of all digits of all digits of this number sum of all digits of number what we will do is we will take a sum variable sum is equal to 0 38 we have as num na third num is uh, num is 38 so what we do is we, in order to get this unit di unit digit number na what we do is we do modulus by 10 we do modulus by 10 so what we get by modulus of uh, with 10 means remainder when 38 is divided by 10 so we will get 8 so see we get the unit digit we will add 8 in the sum and then since we have taken 8 so we have to remove that from our number so for number what we will do number will be what uh, this this 38 mod 10 will be the uh, value which we need to add and number will become what 38 divide by 10 so that is 3.8 that is 3 so now the number is 3 See, so in order to get the unit digit value, we modulus, we do num modulus by 10. So we get the unit digit number, and in order to get, in order to now remove that number which we have taken, we are we are dividing by 10. So now again we will do the steps. So value will be will come out what? Now num is what? 3. So 3 modulus 10. So 3 modulus 10 is 3. So 3 we will add in the sum. So it will become 11. And uh, what is there? Num Will become what now? Num will become three divided by ten. So three divided by ten is zero point three. That is zero. So num is zero. Means we have considered all the digits of this number. So right term we got sum eleven and sum eleven. It's or oh, it's c. How we will get to know it's two digit? How we will get to know it's two digit? It's greater than nine. Nah? It's greater than nine. Means it's two digit. Right, one to nine or all are one digit, na. So if the sum is greater than nine, means it's two digit. So we will again repeat these steps. So what will happen? Value will come out to be what? Eleven modulus ten, which is one. So sum we will have zero, and sum will now become one. And then number will become what? Eleven divided by ten. So that will be one point one. That is one. Now again we will do the we will do the same steps to then value again value is what 1 modulus 10 that is 1 and number becomes what 1 number is now 1 na so 1 divided by 10 which is 0.1 or 0 so when 0 when number is 0 will stop and here we will add 1 in it so 2 will it will become 2 and now this sum see now this sum is not greater than 9 na it's less than 9 means we got the single digit sum so we will return that we will return that so this is the simple iterative approach we can also do this recursively uh, let's see the code for this see what we are doing is we have taken sum is equal to 0 initially and we will be calculate we will be uh, doing all this and we are, while we have num which is greater than 9 right and while num is not equal to 0 while num is not equal to 0 what we will be doing we will be uh calculating we will be calculating the value which we need to add in the sum and then we will 
reduce the sum by 10. So this we will continue to do until num is equal to zero. Num is equal to zero. So after that, what we have to do is now this sum, whatever the sum is there, sum 11 came na, sum was what 11. Now this 11 will become what? This will become our new number. This will become our new number. So that we assign to that and sum initialize to zero because for now for this 11 we will initialize sum to zero. And at last we will be returning num because see here uh, at last step at last iteration sum will be assigned to number so we can return number. We can also return uh, but no sum we cannot return because sum will be beca uh, become zero then. All right so. Uh, num we are returning because here we are assigning sum to num and then we are uh, initializing sum to zero so we have to return num so if we submit this it's getting accepted see every time this 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 will be logarithmic complexity right this will be logarithmic complexity but now if you see here in the follow up they have given up that you have to do this in o of 1 run time means you have to uh, do this in o of 1 time complexity you have to do this in o of 1 time complexity so see how we can do that see if you notice um here see let's take these examples so you will better understand right so just a minute yeah see if you look look on these examples right if we see these examples so here when our this is our number which is given to us and this is the output right this is the number which is given to us and that the other one is the output right so see when we have a single digit number so that will be the answer that's clear cut just check this thing check this one whenever what is the divisibility rule of 9 what is the divisibility rule of 9 see whenever we have a a number and its digit sum to 9 it digits sum to 9 right so see then the answer will be what 9 means means if this number is divisible by 9 if its number is divisible by 9 at last at last the sum of these numbers will come out to be 9 only because that's what is the visibility rule of 9 so let's take another example let's say we are taking 36 let's take 36 so in 36 we don't know we don't know what will be the output for this we don't know what will be the output for this what we know that if this is divisible by 9 if this is divisible by 9 its final result its output will be 9 because if you see 3 plus 6 36 is divisible by 9 3 plus 6 is what 9 so see 9 is a single digit if you let's say you take a number or uh, three digit let's take a three digit number so a three digit number which will be divisible by 9 will be let's say 20 uh, we have uh, this one right we have this so this is if you see is this number divisible by 9 we will see if this this number is divisible by 9 so 9 3 27 so 3 and 27 will have so 33 will be so this number is divisible by 9 right this number is divisible by 9 so we can we can just say that if we sum the numbers and the output for this will be 9 see how we 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 saw this is divisible by 9 so 2 plus 9 plus 7 see what it will be it will be 11 and 18 and then 1 plus 8 is what 
9. See, we got 9 now. And that 9, we can just simply check that if it is divisible by 9, its output will be 9. Right? So, I hope you understood this. So, now if you see, now this will be your, this will be the benchmark. You can say this is a be benchmark. And a, a comparison to this, we will be getting the answers of the other numbers. See, if we have 17, 17, we have 17. So, for this 17, what we will do? We will do modulus of it by 9. And whatever we get here will be the output for this 17. So, why we are modulus, why we are doing modulus by 9? Because 9 is the benchmark. See, every time if a number is divisible by 9, then its answer comes out to be 9. So, here, if 18, if 18 was divisible by 9, its answer was 9 now, output was 9. So we can, this is a bench, this is a benchmark. We can do, we can check a, 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 like in comparison to this. So 17 is 1 less than 9. So here answer will come out to be 8. We, so this is, that's why we are modulus, we are doing modulus by 9. So 1 plus 7 uh, will be what? 8 and 8 modulus 9. 8 modulus 9. So, will be what? Ans 8. So, answer should be 8. Na? No, no, sorry. Answer should be 8 for this, right? So, how we will do? We will do se uh, 17 modulus 9. And when we do 17 modulus 9, we will get 8 as answer. Right? So, what we have concluded from this, you can see for all others also. The conclusion is that if the number which is given to us, if it is modulus, if we, if we do modulus of it with 9, means it's divisible by 9, so its final answer will be 9 only and since 9 is the benchmark because 9 divisible by 9 comes out to be 9 only so we will do other numbers also divisible by 9 and if they are not divisible by 9 then whatever modulus answer comes will be the output for them right i hope you understood this thing uh, try to see try to make all these series just analyze how it's working so for this 30 uh, 32 if do you do 32 modulus 9 you will get 5 so 5 will be the output for this 3 plus 2 5 let's see the code for this so see over here if see if num is 0 so obviously answer will be 0 but if num is modulus 9 is equal to 0 means number is divisible by 9 so output will be 9 otherwise if it's not divisible output will be modulus with 9 so if we submit this it's see it's uh, o of one time and o of one space so it's getting accepted so i, I hope you understood the intuition behind this uh, do do make all these cases so you'll better understand and if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see in the next video